All right, hello everyone, tutorial four. So what we're gonna do with this one, similar to last week, I'm gonna draw out a diagram. I'd like you to draw the same diagram in your sketchbook, and then there's going to be an exercise for you to do, uh, where you're going to do a similar thing as the diagram, but draw from life. Okay, the topic is how to draw uh, objects, in this case boxes, um, that are at different angles. So we're going to be working in that case that is like a two-point perspective case. So we're going to have a right vanishing point and a left vanishing point. But each of our two objects is going to have different vanishing points. The first thing we need to do is we need to establish where the horizon is, or our eye line. I'm going to put it sort of towards the top of the paper. So we're going to imagine two boxes. One is going to be on top of the other, and this first one is going to be very close to our eye line. So this is just the edge of that box. So I'm going to make the right vanishing point for this box kind of close, on the left one a little bit farther away. So this is a case where the box is more uh, is more at an angle towards towards the right than to the left. And I'm basically going to just uh, connect the dots here. That was not so accurate. Okay, try again. Okay. Now I'm going to choose a, uh, a width for my box. I'm going to make it a little bit short here. And then this side is going to be a little bit longer. Okay, and uh, as with any situation where we have uh, objects flat on the ground, we want to make sure that all these vertical lines are completely vertical um, with the edge of our paper. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, zooming in while filming was a little bit too much, um, but uh, now hopefully you can see a little bit better. We need to connect uh, these other edges, so I'm going to draw also to my vanishing point on the left here, and the same thing on the right. So what we end up with is a pretty... Uh, a pretty skinny top. We can't see very much at the top of the box because it's very close to our eye line. Okay, I zoomed in again just to make sure this is clear since the top of this box is quite thin. Um, that you can see how the lines are converging back to the vanishing points. So now we're going to add the second box. Uh, it's going to be a kind of a long shoe box type box. And let's just say it's going to, this is about the height of that box. And now this one, I want to make it the opposite where it's going to be a little bit, uh, steeper of an angle going this way and a little bit longer angle going this way. So I want this vanishing point. Uh, it's going to go all the way off uh, the camera right now and I will zoom out later so we can see it. So it's going to go all the way off the camera. Okay, and the vanishing point on the other side is going to be a little bit closer, so we can just barely see it in the camera. I'm going to mark the two vanishing points. 
Okay, then I also, I still want to, I need to decide on the width of this box. Uh, I'm going to put that width out about here. This is just a diagram, so I'm just making this up, but it's, this is roughly going to correspond to my example that I'm going to show you in a minute. As I look at this, I actually want I want to make the box a little bit bigger. You'll see in a second. I just want to make sure that this box will actually extend behind my smaller box. So I'm going to make this a large box. Okay, just make it a little bit wider. A little cleaner. Okay, so there we go, we have our box. Um, and now I can extend these edges to the perspective points. So Okay, so you can see why I made the box a little bit bigger, because I wanted this one to uh, be sitting on top of it. Okay, that is really all there is to this diagram. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see uh, the two vanishing points. Uh, of this larger box, so we can say this is uh, the right vanishing point. Uh, let's call this 2, left vanishing point 2, and then right vanishing point 1 for our original box, left vanishing point 1 for our original box. Okay, I, this is not as complicated as we can get with with perspective clearly, but it is uh, more complicated than the example from last week and also more complicated than what we're seeing in a lot of the interior spaces. If we wanted to get more, uh, add more perspective points, um, you know, if one of these boxes was tilted, it w if it wasn't straight on the ground, we could have a vanishing point up above our eye line or below our eye line because uh, when an object is no longer flat in a surface that you're sitting on, so that's the same relationship with you uh, to the ground, then your vanishing points are going to move from your eye line. That's not a situation that I'm going to cover in this class, but uh, I will bring a perspective book if anyone's interested um, in looking through some technical drawings and seeing some examples of that. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm uh, just going to show you uh, the boxes that I'm going to draw and uh, explain to you a little bit about what I want you to do for the exercise. So this is the kind of situation I'd like you to set up. Two boxes and uh, one on top of the other. The more, most important thing is that they are at, not at the same angle, so uh, don't have your two boxes like this because then we have the same vanishing points. Make sure one is at a different angle than the other. So this is the completed drawing. I will also upload an image of this directly to Blackboard just because I'm not directly above this drawing. There's probably a little distortion and I'm worried you won't be able to see it that clearly in, uh, in the video. But let me explain it a little bit. Here we have the two objects and you see that I've used two colored pencils, a red colored pencil and a green colored pencil. It's okay if you don't have multiple colored pencils, but uh, if you have any uh, blue pens or a uh, red pen, you could use that just to show the difference in the two, uh, the two objects and the uh, perspective lines. Um, as you can see here, only one of my objects has vanishing points on the page. So you can see that um, this the upper box has a vanishing point here and then a vanishing point over there. Um, this green box, uh, because I've drawn sort of large on the paper, 
the vanishing point is, is off the page, uh, both on the right side and the left side. That's fine. Um, that's not a problem if that happens with your drawing. Um, so the key thing to notice here, um, again, is that different vanishing points. Um, however, both, uh, both objects have two vanishing points that meet on uh, the eye line or the horizon line. Um, clearly, we see more of the lower box because we're higher up um, looking down at it. And the other box, we see very little of the top. Uh, let's see, last thing I'd want you to do for this drawing is uh, just after you do the perspective lines, go back uh, with graphite pencil and uh, just draw some of the edges and some of the details with a slower contour line. Okay, that's the tutorial. Um, note the diagram below and, um, and the text below. See you in class.